Okay, well here we are, different day, uh, different look. Uh, I, had a, I got a bit busy yesterday so I have to come back to this today. Um, but also in the interim I've taken the luxury, I've taken the chance of time to do this. I've created one of the soft boxes uh, for the arms and you can see now, you can have a good idea of exactly what it, what it is that I'm trying to create. And that's to have soft boxes on the end of the flash heads instead of just having them naked like this one. Okay, um, and with this whole surface area now of diffusion with using this white plastic sheet, um, it's just going to give a nice um, warm, soft, or not warm, but a nice softer light um, when I hopefully am successful with finding something to photograph. Um, but there is one particular aspect of this um, that will go again to, towards aiding the diffusion of light and we'll come on to that very 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 soon um, now in order to this unit here this element here is actually if i just place that down there is one of these it's a tupperware box okay uh, probably cost me about a dollar <laughs> okay uh, very small there's a really cheap like 100 yen store or one dollar store here in japan so i got a couple of these in there um, now the first thing i'm going to do You'll notice on the edge of here there's like a little raised ledge. Um, I've got a, a number of tools here. Uh, let's just get this out of the way a minute. Don't need that. I'm not going to need that for the foreseeable future. Um, but one of my favourite tools, the Dremel. <laughs> and I've got lots of different fittings and fixtures I can put onto that. And in particular we're going to be using this one here which is like a little um, cutter. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to take off this, just this top level, top part of the um, uh, Tupperware box here, so that then I've got this nice platform, uh, which is that shoulder around the rim. I'll use that as a platform onto which I rest the plastic. But there are a few things we're going to do to this uh, before we get to that stage. So without further ado, I'm going to change tools and get this guy cut off. Okay, and once we've got this, uh, the edge pieces off, okay, you'll notice that there's a lot of rough edges around the outside of the uh, of this Tupperware box. So all I do, I just take a, a tool like a Leatherman in this case, and I just scratch those off to make it nice and smooth. Okay, just to finish it off. And once we're done we've got a much tidier edge here a much flatter edge that we will eventually um, put our uh, diffusing uh, element across the front there but still quite a way to go yet okay next step okay what I want to do is I want to get there the, the um, I want to mark the area where the light is going to enter into or where it's going to sit into the uh, Tupperware container and then from there I can cut the recess that will allow the light head to go into the side here. Now there is one very particular point about this um, okay that is pretty much key to hopefully the success that this will give to our photography. So here we have our flash head um, and here we have our Tupperware box. Now as you may or may not know, with um, flash photography or with uh, off-camera off flash, um, when people use modifiers like soft boxes or umbrellas or beauty dishes, that kind of thing, um, not so much beauty dishes, but definitely with um, soft boxes and umbrellas, is that the best way to diffuse light is to bounce it off of uh, uh, something, whether that be a wall, a ceiling, the internal of, uh, of a um, umbrella, okay, uh, and in this instance what we're going to do is we're going to place this on, most people would expect me to put it on this way and have the flash sitting behind the diffusing element, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to place it on this way so that the flash sits down close to the bottom of this part of the Tupperware box, okay, but it's going to bounce the flash from the back 
and come out through the front so it's going to come out it's going to bounce the flash from the bottom of the of the Tupperware and come out through the diffusion panel that's going to be placed on top here okay um, now how is it going to bounce out of there you ask uh, because it is very much a almost see-through element well I went to the store and I got me some of this it's a reflective silver foil uh, on a stick with adhesive on one side and all I'm going to do is I'm going to line this whole internal of the um, Tupperware box with that with this so that it then becomes almost like a mirror and we'll be able to um, reflect the light as and when it is bounced in or flashed into the base of the Tupperware container. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that okay so that we've got our points cut it out with the Dremel cut the little recess out with the Dremel so that we can then fit the box over the lamp head okay so let's go ahead and do that. Now once I've got to this level what I want to do is I want to check and see that the um, light head or the lamp head uh, will fit into here leaving sufficient space for there to for it to flash against the bottom of the container uh, and still being sunk in enough so that I can place the diffusion panel over the top without there being any uh, interruption so let's just check and see if that fits in there nicely Yes, I will be cleaning up afterwards. There's lots of uh, plastic and whatever and my wife will kill me if I didn't. <laughs> so, no worries. Ah, you can see it's flush with the top there. But it still needs to go just a little bit deeper. So once we're deep, we're good. A little bit, probably about even maybe just a quarter of an inch. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut that in. All right so that's sitting in there nicely uh, and what I'm, what how this is going to stay in place i'm not going to use any glue on it because i don't want there to be any reaction with the plastic um, all i'm going to do is i'm going to get a couple of cable ties okay i'm going to mark i'm going to mark a, the holes just here on the sides okay and then from there um, the lamp head will sit in there'll be two uh, there'll be a cable tie on this end and this end holding the lamp in place and then from there uh, we'll build everything up around that uh, but to begin with what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and line this Tupperware container with the silver reflective tape so that we've then got something to reflect the light out uh, when we take the shot. Now that everything's cut and everything fits um, what I've actually also done is I've fitted the, um, the, the flash head into the Tupperware box and I've marked and created the holes where the cable ties are going to hold it in place okay so all that matters now or all that I've got to do now the two most laborious jobs is to cover the inside or line the inside of the box with the silver reflective paper and also to make it look photography and cool I'm going to cover the back with um, photographer's friend black scotch tape okay so it's going to take a while but hopefully with the magic of cinema We'll be able to get there. Look at that. Magic. Okay, well all that remains now for me to do is to set the light into the Tupperware box, connect the um, two tie wraps, that are cable ties that are then going to hold it in place. Uh, and then what I need to do, uh, if I dig down here, oh, throw some stuff around. Okay, what I then need to do is, this is the uh, diffusion panel that's going to go across the front, okay, uh, and this is just a, I think it's about a half millimetre, just uh, white plastic, but it's enough to, um, so that when the flash goes off, uh, it still allows that flash to come through the, uh, through, through the plastic. Um, like I said, it is going to suck up some of the power of the flash, uh, and with that uh, means I just have to increase the power of the flash probably going to be shooting um, full on 100% flash each time um, but like I said I much prefer to use up batteries um, from flash uh, than to have um, really sharp and 
horrible damaging light on a macro subject so I'm going to go ahead and trace that cut it out and get all of this into place okay well there we have that's the, that's going to be my diffusion panel um, and that should fit nicely over the edge there just cut it out with a pair of scissors all sits very nicely and all I'm going to do because we've got that nice flat shoulder here okay all I'm going to do is I'm going to put very strong uh, adhesive all on this shadow here okay there's going to be very strong adhesive here and then I'll just put the uh, put that diffusion panel across there and what I do then have are some of these little binders or clips again from a hundred dollar store and all I'll do just to make sure that's well connected is just put a couple of those maybe four around the outside um, just so that it holds very tight in place whilst the uh, adhesive is hardening and retaining that panel to the to the cover so hopefully you can start to see the the shape of it all coming together now and uh, within the not too distant future we'll be out on adventures looking for something to photograph I'm now going to have to leave this for a, about 12 hours the package says 24 so maybe even a day um, to make sure that there is a solid bond between the diffusion panel and the um, and the softbox now that everything is in place all that remains after this like I said I just want to tidy up the um, where, where the joins are where the articulated arm goes into the into the box uh, and then just all around it what I do is I'll just line uh, with black gaffer tape or scotch tape just line around the edge here just so that I close up the opaqueness of the um, the shoulder on the underside okay to shroud all of that in black tape so that there's no the only light that escapes is the light that comes out through the front of this diffusion panel so um, I'll check back with you in about a day and uh, we'll take it from there